I am so excited to have you join this cooking class. We are going to make burger bowls. And uh, as a nutritionist, I love to be able to show people how you can eat healthier right at home without needing to go to uh, you know, the fast food places uh, on a daily or a weekly basis. It's so important that we nourish our body with really good whole clean foods because that's what's going to make up our wellness and that's what's going to have us feeling vibrant and energized. You know, and uh, a lot of times when we get things uh, at takeout, we don't know everything that they've put in to it. So with Epicure, we are 100% gluten free, we are low sodium, low sugar, there are no words this big in the jars and the spices, uh, the preservatives are, there are none, um, there are no additives, no artificial flavorings, no artificial sweeteners, it really is a fantastic company, it's a Canadian company which I also really love. So today I want to show you how you can still have burger night and still stay on plan and stay healthy and vibrant and you know it's okay to have a full burger with a bun and you know and all the works it's totally okay I don't believe in that I don't believe in deprivation or restriction I believe in balance but sometimes you know when we have buns and we have um, you know a big meal like that it doesn't make us feel very good so this is a way that you can still enjoy burger night with your family and feel amazing so I've already got the ground beef cooking here on um, this little stove top um, what I have done is I have chosen hormone and antibiotic organic ground beef. That is really important to me. As a woman in my late 40s, I certainly don't need more hormones put into my body. Um, and you can get that when you eat conventional meat. So I like happy meat. I like knowing, you know, um, I'm eating something with quality. That's my choice, of course. Um, and that's what I like about, you know, doing these meals at home. I get to choose what I'm going to put in to my um, meal. I get to choose it all, right? So it's really important to me. So what I've done is I have uh, mixed up just ground beef. And as I mentioned, hormone, antibiotic, organic. I've used two tablespoons of our burger seasoning. This seasoning, seriously, is to die for. Um, it is... So it has onion, garlic, red bell pepper, sea salt, herbs, and black pepper. That's all that's in this. It is gluten-free, it's non-GMO project verified, it's kosher checked, uh, the sodium is extremely low. So what I love about this is in order to make this recipe, you can add a little bit of barbecue sauce if you want, you can add a little bit of ketchup. Um, we have a fantastic barbecue sauce. Um, I didn't bring it to show you, but we have that in the catalog as well. Uh, so you add that, a quarter cup of that, to your ground beef um, and two tablespoons of the seasoning. Now, if you wanted to make it into a burger for the rest of your family, same idea. You would use a quarter cup of either the ketchup or the barbecue sauce, two tablespoons of this, um, an egg to help keep it all together, and you can use the fancy barbecue, or sorry, burger press. So this is a three-in-one burger press. Um, I'm not going to do this today because I am just going to fry up this ground beef for burger bowls for my family. But it is super easy to use. Literally, you would mix up your ingredients in a bowl, you know, and I like to get my hands dirty, so I would get my hands in there, put a little patty in there, and then you would just literally push down, and then it pops out, and you've got a nice patty. What I like about this, again, is there are no fillers. There are no hidden secret ingredients. You know, if you go and look at a burger patty that's frozen at the store, 100% you will find gluten in there. You're going to find, you know, uh, breadcrumbs or you're going to find things that you just don't need. So this is what I love being in charge of what I choose to eat. If I do it at home, I see what I'm, what I have, right? So also you can make sliders, which is kind of fun for the kids. Um, if you have little ones, if I open it up here. So again, you can make the little sliders. You can also make um, stuffed burgers, which is fun too. So that is the burger press and uh, definitely a great addition. The other thing, you don't have to use ground beef. If you are someone that is a vegetarian or you're vegan, you can totally use uh, portobello mushrooms. You could use turkey or chicken if you do not want to use red meat. So there are so many variations that you can do with the uh, burger spice. So that is that. Now let's move on. Just give this a quick stir. It smells so delicious. So let's move on here. We're going to make 
big burger sauce. So I'm sure you've been to the the Golden Arches, uh, to the, the fast food, you know, when the kids were small. Yes, we did it too. And there is that Big Mac sauce that, you know, um, is um, popular. We can make our own at home here without all of the extra preservatives and sodium and sugar and uh, all of that jazz, the bad oils that are in there. So this is literally onion, red bell pepper, garlic, herbs, chives, and black pepper. And this is our big burger sauce. So what you need to do, whoops, I put this in our four cup prepple, which is super handy in the kitchen. Love the silicone lid because I can uh, store my leftovers. So what you need to do is I've already put in two tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of relish. If you don't use relish, you could chop up pickles so you could do, you know, anything like that. And it calls for a cup of mayonnaise. Now I have this in my one cup uh, prepple. Again, these come with the little lids as well. Super amazing. Um, we love using these uh, for pudding and for storing leftovers as well. Um, now, I'm using mayonnaise because I know my kids like this. You could use Greek yogurt, and Greek yogurt would be a fantastic option because it's full of protein. So when you eat a lot of protein, you are going to be satisfied. It's going to stabilize your blood sugars, um, and it's going to keep you from having those cravings later on. So protein is really, really important. So again, when I say you can really swap out the different ingredients for what works for your family. So I'm gonna just set that aside. Now I'm literally going to put in two tablespoons of the mix. I'm gonna use our four in one spice spoon. Love this uh, little gadget. Honestly, you don't have to worry about all those little uh, spoons you can't find uh, jangling around. You have one, so you have a tablespoon. Um, a teaspoon, a half teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of this into the bowl. And my husband uses this big burger sauce on more than just burgers. He puts it on rocks, he puts it on sandwiches, he puts it um, as a condiment on the side of his plate. It is honestly very delicious. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir that up. And that's how quick that takes to make. It is super simple. And again, it's low sodium. There is no crazy um, additives or preservatives. There's zero sugar except for what I used in that little bit of ketchup. Okay, so that is ready. I'm just going to set that aside. Next, we are going to... Um, Obviously on a burger, a lot of times you have tomato and onion and pickles. So of course, just because I'm having it in a bowl, I'm still going to enjoy that. So I'm going to use our Black Beauty. This is our uh, silicone knife. This is uh, very sharp. So it's definitely one of those things that you want to take care with. I'm just going to slice up. Look how quickly and easily that slices through the tomato. It is um, honestly amazing. Just goes right through. So I'm just gonna chop that up. All right. And I love onions, so I wanna add onion to my bowl. So I'm going to slice up some onion as well. Just a little bit here. Everything smells so good. Again, you can have dinner on the table in 20 minutes or less. Um, and you can even have the kids do, uh, kids help if you're making burgers for some of the family member, the kids can do that part of it too, which is kind of fun, but the kids involved. I find when you get the kids involved, uh, they're more apt to eat what they're, what they're making. They're not as picky. Okay, so I'm going to slice up some dill pickles because I love having pickles when I have a burger. Actually, I just want one. Okay, I'm going to put that back in the bowl. All right, so I've sliced up our tomatoes, our onions, our dill pickles. Next, we just need to assemble the bowl, right? I've already pre-washed and cut my romaine lettuce and I've put that in there. Now, if you are someone um, that is looking to maintain their weight, somebody that looks to lose weight, um, somebody that, you know, deals with a weight thing and uh, a lot of us ladies in our 40s, 50s and beyond do, uh, we have these amazing portion scoops. So what I love about this is you would literally whoops, measure out your lettuce, 
throw it in there. There's a, you know, a guide that we have as well that kind of takes you through all of that um, and keeps you on portion. So it keeps you within your calories for the day. I'm not a huge calorie counter, but it is kind of nice when you're having something um, and you just want to kind of be aware of what you're having. So personally, I don't want a ton of ground beef. I'm going to just put half of a cup, which is probably equivalent to one patty. So I'm going to just scoop this into my scoop without making too much of a mess here. So there we have it. And I'm just going to add that right to the side of my bowl. I always like to make everything kind of pretty. So I don't always just mix it all together at the start. So then I'm going to add in my onions, my tomatoes, and definitely we need the pickles, right? Pickles are so delicious. All right. And of course, if you want to get real exciting, you can add some cheese. We don't have a lot of cheese in our family. Um, dairy is one of the things that we do avoid, um, you know, as much as possible. But I definitely want to have a little bit of cheese on my salad. So I'm going to sprinkle some cheese. And then I'm going to put a nice big heaping tablespoon of the sauce right on my bowl. And there you have it. I have a burger bowl that I've made and it is going to be just as good as, you know, the traditional burger with a bun. Now you can use a big lettuce wrap for a burger too, which is nice, it's a bit messy. This is fantastic. It is totally on plan. I have zero guilt with this. I don't feel deprived or restricted. I, I can't wait to dig in. It smells delicious. So before we go, I just want to also show you in our catalog, we also have uh, meal kits. So you can get the big, uh, the Good Burger Real Fast meal kit, which comes with the two that I showed you, the, um, the burger seasoning, the big burger sauce. It also comes with the West Coast burger, as well as the Tuscan chicken burger. And you can get all four of them for like under $36. So it's fantastic that way. And um, with the Tuscan chicken, uh, you can make it with the ground chicken, of course, ground turkey. I love using just on any chicken. So chicken thighs, chicken breasts. You can make an, a fantastic marinade with it. Um, you can also use portobello mushrooms, you know, um, if you are a, a vegan or a vegetarian. Uh, the ingredients in this one is garlic, tomato, onion, sumac, red bell pepper, herbs, sea salt, black pepper, and rosemary. It is really good. The other one that is back by popular demand. This was actually a taste test a couple months ago and now it's in the catalog. This is the West Coast Burger. It's suggested to do with sockeye salmon. I'm not a huge uh, fish person so I haven't used it for that. Um, you can use it in ground beef, you can use it in chicken or turkey, um, and you can also use it uh, and think outside of the jar. So I really like to add this to pasta salad and to potato salad and to my veggies. It has onion, herbs, garlic, sea salt, organic lemon powder, organic lemon juice, um, black pepper, and chilies. So it's really delicious as well. And that's the thing. It's always so amazing when you have the spices at home, you can really think outside of the jar or outside of the package and you can create whatever your imagination thinks would be amazing. Um, you don't have to just do what's on the jar. So I'm going to go dig into this delicious burger bowl. I hope that you've learned something. I hope that you will um, enjoy if you decide to make this as well. And remember, you don't have to make it as a bowl. You can absolutely make it like a burger with the handy burger press um, and then just chop it up. A lot of times what we'll do is make um, like a... Like a like a board with the different condiments and you can dress your burger however you want, which is also really fun. And there's so many variations, right? You could use our Caesar dressing and make a Caesar burger. Um, you can do a stuffed burger. You can throw in some of our three onion. There are so many ways that you can make the meal that tastes, fits your taste. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us and I will hopefully see you all soon. Take care.